This is chapter 22, section 3, Rock Types and the Rock Cycle. There are three main rock types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, and we'll take a moment to talk about each one of these. Igneous. There are two types of igneous rocks. Extrusive, this form is when lava cools quickly on the Earth's surface. Basically, this is after a volcano. And there is intrusive. Intrusive igneous rocks form when magma cools over millions of years. This is basically magma that stays in a pocket under the earth and slowly cools. And the difference would be the size of the crystals that comes from that. The extrusive is going to have little or no crystals. Um, where the intrusive is going to have larger and many crystals. And these here are some pictures of some extrusive igneous rocks. Obsidian up here, you can see you've got some uh, holes in here from the air bubbles from lava cooling. The next is sedimentary rock, which are formed on the surface of the earth. They can be formed on land or underwater. They are layered accumulations of segment fragments of rock, minerals, animals, or plant material. Basically what it is is dust piled on top of dirt, piled on top of dirt, piled on top of dust, over and over and over, over thousands of years, packed together tightly. As these things get further and further below the Earth's surface, they get packed tighter by the pressure of the Earth's surface. These sedimentary rocks show this when they, uh, by the fact that the appearance of the minerals that they contain. They're usually going to have streaks going through them, and you can see the layers in sedimentary rocks, or often you can see the layers in sedimentary rocks. So here's how it would happen. Wind, rain, glaciers break down rocks. Those rocks are then transported by wind or by water. They are then deposited somewhere, usually along the coastline. After hundreds or thousands of years of compacting and cementation, they become sedimentary rock. And here you can see the lines, the strains of the different types of dirt and sand that covered the land when this rock was formed. There are two types. You have chemical sedimentary rock and clastic. Chemical is going to be things basically that are made with water and then the water is evaporated off. So for example limestone here. Limestone is uh, made with the uh, seaweed at the bottom of lakes and oceans and as that water evaporates off that seaweed is green and it forms rock after hundreds or thousands of years. Clastic is made from eroded fragments of other rock. So you take a mountain. Mountain is a rock. It gets eroded down eventually that's going to be cemented together and it's going to create one of these types of, of rocks. And the third type of rock is a metamorphic rock. These are the metamorphic rocks happen when sedimentary or igneous rocks are subjected to pressures so intense or heat so high that they are completely changed. They are metamorphosized. The word metamorphic means to change and that's what happens to these rocks. <clears throat> it does not melt the rocks, but it transforms them by pushing them together tightly, changing the chemical makeup of the composition of the rock. And these new minerals are created either by rearrangement of the mineral components or by reaction with fluids that enter the rocks. There are two uh, types that are strongly banded, so you'll see lines going through them. Um, of basically, what you're seeing is different sedimentary rocks that have been pushed together to form one big rock. And this is granite gneiss and biotite schist. You can read here what parallel uh, foliated means. So here's your two different types of metamorphic rocks. So an example here is granite. Granite, granite being pushed together in a metamorphic rock will create gneiss and you can see the lines in this from the different types of rock being sho shoved together. Shale from water or water beds, ocean beds becomes slate. Sandstone like we showed when we had a, sand, uh, a sedimentary rock becomes quartzite. And then this is an example of the rock cycle. Please take a minute to pause the video and really examine this after I go over it. But essentially each of the three rocks can become the other. An igneous rock can be uh, 
can become metamorphic. If it never leaves the Earth's surface, the pressure changes it into a metamorphic rock. Or metamorphic rock can become igneous <coughs> by staying under the Earth's surface, finding a magma pocket, and becoming an igneous rock. Over here, igneous rock um, is exposed, it gets eroded away, it becomes sediment, cemented to become a sedimentary rock. Oppositely, a sedimentary rock becomes buried underneath the earth, it hits up a hot pocket of lava or magma, and it becomes an igneous rock. Sedimentary rock is exposed to the pressure inside the earth, it can become metamorphic. If that metamorphic rock reaches the earth's surface, it gets eroded away, it becomes sediment. So this is called the rock cycle. There are going to be many questions on the rock cycle, so please be familiar with this.